Now we come into a companion who could be better than some of the companions mentioned in the ten, but he's not from the ten. Like Hamza ibn Abd al-Muttalib. Hamza ibn Muttalib, as Abu Rahman ibn Awfi said, he was better than me. And he died before me, radiallahu anhu. So Hamza ibn Abd al-Muttalib, he is Hamza ibn Abd al-Muttalib, ibn Hashim ibn Abd al-Manaf, al-Qurashi, al-Hashimi, al-Makki, al-Badri, he had witnessed Badr, he is a Shaheed, he is Asadullah, the Lion of Allah, he is Asad Rasulullah, the Lion of the Messenger of Allah, he was the uncle of the Prophet Sallallahu and he was the foster brother of the Messenger of Allah. So he's his uncle and the foster brother, that means he ate both of them, <coughs> they were nursed by one woman. When he had embraced Islam, the Kuffar, they couldn't do what they used to do to the Muslims in terms of insulting the Prophet of Allah or torturing the Kimtani. So when he embraced Islam, the Prophet of Allah was so happy. In terms of his virtues, he is the first standard that is being sent. That means a flag or standard bearer, which is the, as a commander. When the Prophet of Allah he was in Medina and he sent a expedition, uh, uh, numbering 30 men, the head of them was Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib radiallahu anhu wa arda. That is to meet a caravan which was led by Abu Jahl. And we find him as well, he was in the Battle of Badr from the first people who had the duel, which is a duel that took place. Ali ibn Abi Talib narrates for us that Utbah ibn Rabi'ah, this is the Kuffar sign, Shayba also ibn Rabi'ah, wal Walid ibn Utbah. Shayba and Utbah brothers, and Al Walid is the son of Utbah. So we have two brothers and the son of one of them. And his uncle was with him. And they came to the Muslim in the Battle of Badr and they said, Man Yubaris, who's going to have a duel? Then the Ansar came forward and said, We will. Then I have a combat with you, we will fight you. He said, No, 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 we don't want you. We want our uh, cousins, the one from the Muhajirun, not from the Ansar. We've got nothing to do with you. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Hamza, stand up. Ali, stand up. And then he said to Ubaid ibn Harith, stand up. Those are three to meet Utbah and Shayba and Al Walid. So, they have killed all of them. And Ali radiallahu anhu, he said, verily the verse which is in Surah Al-Hajj, هَذَانِ خَصْمَانِ اِخْتَصَمُ فِي رَبِّهِمْ Those are two people who disputed in the, uh, uh, disputed regarding their Lord. He said, I am the first person to go on my knees on the day of resurrection for the khusuma, for the dispute on the day of resurrection, for this verse. So, radiallahu anhu wa with one strike, Hamza, he killed the one who is opponent of his. And also Ali, straight away, as Ubaid ibn Harith, they both actually fought, and the other person, which is Utbah, which is the son, he had actually uh, wounded uh, Ubaidah, so Hamza and Ali came to help him, and they killed the other man, and then Ubaid ibn Harith, radiallahu anhu, he died later on because of his wound. In the Battle of Uhud, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he had Hamza saying, Ana Asadullah, I am the Lion of Allah. When Siba ibn Abdul Uzza from the this believer's side, al Khuzai, he came, he said, who is going to have a duel? So Hamza, he came up for him. And he said, Yabna ummi ammar uqatti'at al-budu atuhadda Allah wa rasoolah. Oh, you're the son of, you know, he's like calling him the son of a, a whore. <laughs> the one who is, she is a circumciser. She's circumcised for women. Okay? So he's like, you know, belittling him. You know, nothing. As soon as he went to, he went like a lion. Straight away, he was on top of his head and he struck him. And he killed him. So he is, when he was killed, and we're going to talk about the way he was killed, he is one of those people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the following verse. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ يُقْتَلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا Don't be, think that those people who are killed in the sake of Allah to be dead. بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ But they are alive with the Lord, being given the provision, Abdullah ibn Abbas, he had interpreted this verse, he said, the Prophet Sallallahu he said, that when they were killed, those martyrs, their souls, where they'll be in green birds, and those, they will be nesting underneath the throne, and they are hovering in paradise. So they, every time they hover in paradise, they come to a Latin, which is underneath, it's a nest, underneath the throne of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Those souls have been uh, faced by Allah, Allah talking to them. Are you happy in paradise? He said, yes, you ask for more, what more do you want? Do we want? But, oh Lord, we want to go back in order to be killed. Back again. He said, no, 
the person who dies can't go back again. He said, oh Lord, can enemy just give a message to our brothers what we are finding? So what is the, the glad tidings that we're having? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down this verse. That is, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَوْ اُبْتَلُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتَ وَالْأَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَزَقُمْ So this is the ayah was revealed in order, that is, to tell the people that's what happens to the martyrs. So, he is, even the Prophet of Allah calls him, Sayyidu al-Shuhada. The most eminent amongst the martyrs of the prophets, or the martyrs of the companions. As the Prophet ﷺ, he said, رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ وَأَرْضَى And, he said also the Prophet of Allah, the best of the martyrs, a person who stood up in the face of a tyrant leader and he said to him something to command him or something to forbid him, don't do this haram or do this is what you're supposed to be do. And then the king or the sultan and the tyrant leader had killed him. He is the best of the martyrs as well. Abdul Rahman ibn Awf radiallahu anhu wa he testifies for us. Verily, he said, when he was eating some food, he said, and he was crying, Mus'ab ibn Rabayr died before him, and wallahi, he is better than me. Wallahi, Mus'ab ibn Rabayr, he died, he did not have enough cloth to cover him. If we cover his head, his feet will show, we cover his feet, with his head will show. Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, radiallahu anhu wa arda, he had no coffin until his sister, Sophia, she brought him the coffin, the shroud, to wrap him with, he has got nothing. And he said, and he looked at the grace and the blessings of Allah, he said, we are afraid that this is our, you know, glad tidings has been given to us in the dunya. That means the hereafter will take nothing. And he started crying. So those companions before him, he's saying that who died, they didn't have this luxury that Abdul Rahman bin Awf is having. So the Prophet وسلم, he used to love him so much. And when he died, he was killed, he was sad so much. And Safiya radiallahu anha, which is the daughter of Abdul Muttalib, the aunt of the Prophet, the sister of Hamza, she brought two shrouds. And as soon as she found a Zubayr, a Zubayr is the son of oh, Safiya, Zubayr bin Allah radiallahu anha. So she was a tough woman. She just pushed him in his chest, said, away from me, because it's her brother. He was killed. And he was mutilated as well. So, Prophet of Allah, he said, prevent the woman to come, but she couldn't do anything. He couldn't do anything to his, to his mother. He's so strong for him. She pushed him away. And she said, the Prophet of Allah, he said, well, he doesn't want you to see it. Because she doesn't want to see it. So she said, okay. If it is the case, the Prophet of Allah commanded, this is the two shrubs he brought. She brought two